scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God and doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose leaves do not wither and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Angels are not shown mercy. That's why Jesus did not die for them. You see, there are spirits. I hope you know that Satan is not the only fallen spirit and Satan in truth is not even the worst of the spirits. Hmm. There are spirits today that are being bound in everlasting chain. Is that in your Bible? Satan is not even one of them. And the Bible says those spirits have been bound for the sake of the elect. I hope you know it was God that designed the lake of fire. Hello? The lake of fire is part of God's kingdom. Who designed it? That's where Satan will be thrown into. So who would have designed it? The lake of fire is different from hell. Oh. When you read the book of Revelations, hell itself and death will be relocated into the lake of fire. The Bible says that is the second death. So officially the judgment of sinners has not begun. It will start officially when Satan joins them in that destruction. Are we Bible students? Yeah. The lake of fire is part of God's kingdom. It is a representation of his justice. It is a representation of his holiness. It remains so through eternity. Satan himself will be taken to the lake of fire. Death as a spirit the fourth man upon the rider upon the horse that revelation gives are we together the one riding upon the pale horse whose name is death will also be relocated to the lake of fire is it not in your bible yes and all this will be born satan has not started his judgment the bible says he knows that his time is short so there is a time allotted for him it is the reason why you cannot bind all the demon spirits and and satan and keep them in one place and stop their motion you cannot you can only dispel them within your environment as they interrupt the purposes of god there is nobody who has the ability to gather all the demons and all the spirits not even jesus did it when he was going to cast out demons he did not bind them to keep them to say you will never move they are given the liberty of mobility you can only sanitize your environment sanitize your life and your atmosphere with respect to birthing the purposes of god but a time is going to come where there will be a clarion call they will be gathered by themselves that was what was adumbrated in the parable of the wheat and the tears is it not in your bible are we bible students remember the wheat and the tears the bible says while men slept an enemy came am i right and he sowed tears among the wheat and when they came and saw it they found out that something was wrong and then the farmer said okay let us he said no 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 no. don't do that like that in doing that you will not know which one is the wheat and tear he said let them grow when they grow there is something only the wheat can carry that the tears will not carry and when it is the time of the harvest you will now gather the wheat and then you will put the tears together and burn them in everlasting fire. That's what Jesus taught us. So you see that there are many things we do as believers that is not from a standpoint of spiritual intelligence. You cannot bind the spirits that are around Enugu or the East and put them in one place 
and say in the name of Jesus Christ from today you don't have access to mobility no every spirit Jesus casted out is still in the earth the spirits that oppress men today the bodies that they are oppressing is not the first they have they are used to occupy many many bodies that is why you see Satan has an advantage of experience you cannot use experience against him you only use the forces of victory that have been given through Christ in terms of experience they have longevity of stay they have entered and possessed and oppressed and manipulated too many human bodies you are not the first preacher and you are not the first church to receive an onslaught from Satan using experience may be a very weak tool to bring in victory to yourself now thanks be to God the Bible says which causes us always to triumph hallelujah are we still together we are discussing that which makes a man usable not just available and number one we said the state of your heart ladies and gentlemen let me tell you in your journey in ministry and in your journey in life and destiny you will confront many things that will want to challenge the position of God in your life for instance fame for instance persecution in fact it says what shall separate us from the love of God then it begins to list it there is a concise list I hope you know that both good and bad things can disrupt God's position in your life for instance there are people today who keep saying Lord I love you with all my heart until the day somebody gives you a hundred million cash or one billion the appetite for prayer dies as you are receiving that money immediately because you find out that many of your prayer requests was driven by your need for bread and tea and now the passion to pray and to fast is no longer there how about when God announces you as a man of God and everybody already knows you as a man of God what is the need to study again what is the need to pray again what is the need to fast again after all the nations know you you see that there are many people who leave God in the face of plenty. There are many people who leave God in the face of glitz and glamour. They leave God in the face of when they evolve to versions of, the, of themselves that the nation celebrates. You see, many of them will leave the things of God. So before you begin the journey with God, He probes you and says, let me walk on you and furnish you to become a vessel unto honor. There is a level in life when you grow in terms of increase financial increase or in influence there are certain groups upon the earth that watch the growth of men like a meter when you hit a certain threshold they will come and meet you they will sell you ideas and say join us become part of us and there are privileges you will enjoy if you have not met them they are coming just keep rising i assure you by the god of heaven you know what i'm talking about and you know i'm not lying in every state in every city in every region and in every nation there there are groups of people mandated by the devil whether they know they are used by him or not you keep rising let your company keep rising let your ministry keep rising one day there will be a knock on your door spiritually or physically you will be called into a conversation and they'll say we are proposing to you this now you will understand what the Bible means when it says, what shall it profit a man when he gains? Show me the market where you do that kind of business that you gain the whole world and lose your soul. If I want to sell my soul now, call the name of the shop for me that I will go. What shop in Enugu receives souls and gives them the world in exchange? Yet the Bible says there is a mysterious marketplace on earth where what you sell is not spare part where what you sell are we together is not clothes the commodity is your very soul and there are men that market is a busy market till tomorrow satan proposed it to jesus he said come the third temptation the first temptation of jesus is the first temptation that every man will go through the temptation of need bread your food turn this stone to bread manipulate ministry to satisfy your hunger 
manipulate the people that do. it is within your power to turn stones to bread and by the time hunger is there he will not come when you are full he will come when there is crisis in the ministry he will come when you need to send your children to school and says remember you're a prophet can't you just call some numbers and somebody will come and give you money can't you quote can't you prophesy the account number of the person and receive 10 million why struggle and have to go through the cross when you can just bow to me and have the world now can i tell you we're examining the heart condition of man i hope i'm not wasting your time you must survive that number one temptation there are men who have fallen like a pack of cards because they could not survive it if you are not hungry your temptation will not be about food to eat satan is not stupid he will come to you do you know a spirit called seducing spirits in the bible the bible says the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith and shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons is that in your bible you know how seduction works seduction has no power over you until it unites with a need there has to be a desire in your heart for seduction to work am i right on that if you are looking for a political position chances are excellent that the weapon the devil the seducing spirits will operate in your life with respect to that desperate need so for jesus because he was hungry having fasted 40 days and 40 nights the spirits came the devil came himself and said you are hungry jesus don't tell lies i know you are hungry remember you are the way the truth and the life you are hungry turn this stone to bread turn this stone to bread abuse the use of it manipulate that power to grant your selfish and mundane desires and jesus said it is written man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeded from the mouth of god second temptation that everybody must survive is the temptation of maintaining your spirituality in the face of greatness the bible says he took him to a holy the top of a holy mountain of the temple and told him fall down there that is the temptation of great men the moment you become great and you are spiritually vibrant the next temptation is be careless with your spiritual life fall down after all it is written he will put his angels charge over you an abuse of grace and mercy they will bear thee up on their wings lest you dash your feet against a stone don't pray you are still anointed go for the conference without preparing even while on stage you are full of revelation something must come for you to preach is it not just to preach and collect your money or honorarium and, be, and go back that is the temptation of great men so the moment you become great know that your spiritual life is the first point of attack not your church your life he took him to a holy city and said fall down throw yourself down after all he will put his angels charge will the angels watch you go down and not protect you is it not written that he shall put his angels charge over you they shall bear thee up on their wings lest you dash your foot against the stone temptation number three that all men must survive the bible says that satan this one eh satan took him to an exceeding high mountain mountains in scripture talks about spheres of influence he took him there and the bible says he showed him all the glories of the world in a moment the kingdoms of the world matthew 4 says and the glory of them question show me where that mountain is today that you stand upon and you can see the glories of all the world and the kingdoms and here's what he proposed to him verse 9 all these things i will give thee if thou will fall down and worship me southeast herein lies the revelation of what satan really wants he's not interested in your church he's not interested in your money he's not even interested in the child 
he's not interested in your name or your fame it looks like he's attacking all those things and you may be saying why is satan interested in my marriage why is he interested in my children make no mistakes he's not interested in them this is what he's interested in please give us that scripture that you will fall down and worship me everywhere you see the antichrist system there must be expressions of worship remember nebuchadnezzar 90 feet stature of solid gold and he says after you hear the sound of worship everybody bow down hmm. that is why the greatest expression of your loyalty for god is not just in your service it's in your worship your worship your worship oh be lifted above all other gods we lay our crown and worship you you be lifted above all other gods we lay our crown and worship you oh glorious god we praise your name we lay our crown and worship many of you have no idea what happens in the kingdom of darkness when the saints worship a picture of the worship in heaven was given to us in revelations that when they said worthy is the lamb that was slain the bible says the elders will cast their crown and everybody bows before one king this is all satan wants transgenerational allegiance that is the reason why causes have been programmed across every family to make sure that there will always be a representation somebody who will represent worship and loyalty and allegiance to satan even to jesus he said bow and worship me it's not that i want to hold man i don't need man for anything i don't need his prosperity for anything ask people who are involved in cultism or involved in witchcraft or all kinds of things the only thing satan wants is anything that commits you and brings you to a point where he becomes god over your life he can give you all the prosperity he can give you whatever it is that is the reason why the moment you want to prosper without your loyalty to him he will fight you tooth and nail you want to make money without me he says i wish above all things that he prosper and be in health but make sure your soul prospers it is that soul part that satan does not want can i tell you i made up my mind i rather fail in ministry than worship the devil i rather fail you don't worship satan by worshiping satan you worship satan by worshiping anything that is not god satan is too smart to tell you worship me he will say worship money worship yourself worship your wife worship your husband worship your church worship your sermons and you do not know it's still idolatry worship your prayer life worship your fasting life even worship your bible study and while you are doing all of that you think i am worshiping god no anything that is not god even if it came from god is an idol so that you don't think i'm talking of going to the shrine to go and bow down satan is not stupid he has understood the world of men so he will tell you worship any other thing including yourself including your wife including your husband including ministry including money including your certificate by any means i allow you to worship any other thing provided it is not the god of heaven and can i tell you day and night there are people bowing down to satan but as they bow down to their certificates they bow down to satan as they bow down to their ministry 
every sunday there are many idol worshipers who do not know their idol worshipers they would rather give up jesus than give up church they would rather give up anything <laughs> listen ladies and gentlemen can i tell you if you ever believe you ever believe that on your own without the pruning of the spirit you are worshiping god in spirit and the truth that state itself is proof that you are under attack I remember one time when God began to walk upon my heart I would pray and say Lord use me and it says to take away these idols from your heart and I'm saying idols me where again I have never bowed down to anything that is not God I came from a lineage of missionaries where is, where is an idol coming from then many of us are very quick to select what we think we are free from I'm free from pride I'm free from lust I'm free from all of these things God I'm free enough and he says that deception is bondage itself are we together I hope you are not feeling insulted this is a deliverance service so this is a proper deliverance service are we together oh glorious God we pray your name we lay our crown and worship you my glorious God I praise your name I lay my crown and worship you you be lifted above all other gods i lay my crown and worship you you be lifted above all other gods i lay my crown hear me I'm going to give us the next five minutes there are idols in our lives listen 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 before you start praying I want you to be sincere with the God of heaven when I was preparing this in the morning just cross-checking my notes I found myself praying and said Lord let me not come here and pretend before your people so I myself reveal what are the idols I'm not talking of witchcraft. I know you will never go to a shrine. But let me show you another shrine that is called a piece of paper lying down in your wardrobe. You would rather give up God a thousand times than your PhD. I'm not insulting it. How about your church? There are many of you, if God says close your church now, you will curse him to his face. Ah, my means of bread, my means of relevance, I won't close it. There are many of us, your idol is your anointing. There are many of us, your idol is your prayer and your fasting. You think because it's a spiritual activity on its own, it cannot be idolized. Satan is a master as using any other thing aside from God. An idol is anything you derive your confidence from. An idol is anything that qualifies to earn your loyalty including your fasting including your prayer including the abundance of revelation that you have including your intellect my bible says trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding he says in all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your path the next verse says verse 7 be not wise in your own understanding. He says, fear the Lord and turn away from evil. Listen to me. There are certain obvious idols like idolatry, lust, pride. These are very obvious ones. 
So when you find out that you are free from them, you can flatter yourself to believe you are free. I'm free from lust. I'm free from pride. I'm free from witchcraft. I'm not a false prophet. I'm not a fake person. I love Jesus. And yet the master is still saying, I cannot use you. There is something about your heart. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. Oh God, you are my God. And I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. I have learned to walk in your ways. For step by step, you lead me. And I will follow you all of my days i'd like you to cry before the lord in one minute before we continue father help my heart everything that has become an idol in my life regardless what it is lord i pray that in this conference let it be dethroned 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 let it be dethroned. Let it be dethroned. Everything I have everything i am pastor pray forget about ministry now prayer warrior intercessor great man great woman of god campus fellowship president prayer group coordinator Let's cry before the king. We bow down and worship Yahweh. We bow down and worship Yahweh. Yahweh, 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 Yahweh. I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty you're the king of kings and lords of lords you are the king of kings you are the lord of lords go ahead and pray You are brooding over every darkness. 
you are causing lights to shine from darkness you are brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness the holy ghost is brooding over every darkness you are causing lights to shine from darkness hallelujah pray in one minute lord let my life reflect jesus not self i dethrone every idol idols of competition idols of pride everything that has exalted itself above you let it go down right now i desire increase but not at the expense of your position i desire lifting but not at the expense of your position i desire church growth but not at the expense of your position Jesus mighty name we have prayed in Jesus mighty name we have prayed can I tell you I want to challenge you practice periodic retreats as a man of God you want to survive these days no matter how famous you are I want you to practice periodic retreats there are times you must obtain grace to shut down any ministration it doesn't matter what it is the reason why men are looking for you is because you are looking for him when you stop looking for him men will no longer need you I assure you on that and can I tell you human beings are very unforgiving the day you cannot present to them what they are looking for you for they will forget you as if they never never came to you so don't allow membership let's not allow membership deceive us conferences i have all kinds of people who like me believe me there is light they are seeing from you that is the reason why they are placing a demand the day they don't see it the same people who said let's make him king over us who say crucify him the same people who looked at jesus and said crucify him were the same people who ate his bread most of us here are ministers of the gospel and you know that the greatest pain you have had came from the people you raised so do not the, the bible already tells you that the heart of man is desperately wicked if you love members more than god you will be in trouble if you love conferences more than god you'll be in trouble you leave god to protect members they will leave you to find who is looking for god let every member come and meet you loving god they will respect you they didn't find you waiting for them they found you serving god whether they go or come your worship was there before they arrived because sometimes we need to be careful in a bid to want membership our desperation is becoming pungent and and when people know it's as if you cannot do without them please now as as if we are not doing any other thing with our lives and the moment somebody knows that I matter this much to you, they can wake you up at any time and say, come to my house and come and pray for me. And if you don't come, I'm not coming to your church on Sunday. No. Let me tell you what it means to be surrendered. You get the glory. You get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. Lord, you get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. I just want to say thank you. So in my 
my church be glorified be glorified in my life be glorified be glorified if all I have is Jesus I've got something more than gold and I will tell it to my world Jesus is more than gold if all I have is Jesus I've got something more than gold I will tell it to the world Jesus is more than gold yes sir for me this is not a special number believe me I will shut down ministry a thousand times to maintain his presence the one who saw me in the wilderness when no one knew me it would be stupid to throw him today David do not forget the one who empowered you to kill the bear when you were alone in the wilderness let the glamour of the palace not make you forget him hallelujah just give me a minute or two there is a circumcision that God is doing just before we move to the next one listen any good state when God finds vessels that are genuinely pure in heart you see when you love the Lord with all your heart you will never manipulate his people not for money many things we are trying to address are symptoms the real problem is that something is wrong with the heart competition the heart lost the heart pride the heart witchcraft the heart are we together merchandising the gospel the heart so in trying you don't try to throw a, a to cut a tree by removing the leaf one by one that is a burdensome work you uproot it and with all the leaves on it they will dry because it has no root again when you love the Lord with all your heart you will not take advantage of the prophetic that you have and manipulate anybody you will charge people to give with understanding when you love the Lord with all your heart you will not go and put a charm under your tie it or put it somewhere and be saying praise the lord whereas it is by the power of a familiar spirit it is a heart condition ladies and gentlemen there is a generation that is at the edge of error and destruction if this heart thing is not corrected because for many people especially younger ministers who are coming up we have defined the correctness in ministry by the glamour and present once members are coming branches are expanding you are pitching well who can say you are wrong we need to be careful because there are people today who do not care about the heart condition once i can prophesy i can preach i am charismatic that is fine but that was not the way that the fathers taught us are we together there are some of you here who are campus leaders, I presume. There are some of you here who are leaders of prayer groups. We need to trust God to tame pride. Tame pride. Among the many things we must trust God to work on is pride. It is one of the cancers of ministers of the gospel. Pride. Are we together? fight it like you fight the devil run away from pride because pride is one of the sins in the bible that god directly fights you when god is fighting you who do you pray to when god is fighting you who do you fast to what anointing will you use to bring him down hallelujah so the purity of heart 
This is how God dealt with me. This is how he continues to deal with me till today. When I go before the Lord, he does not just go and tell me a lot of wonderful things. Son, the greater your pruning, the greater the consecration, the greater the sacrifice, the greater the surrender, the greater the glory, period. I surrender all to you. Everything I give to you. I'm withholding nothing. Withholding nothing. I give myself away. to sing a very old song creating me a clean heart oh Lord do you know that song and renew a right spirit creating me a clean heart oh Lord and renew a right spirit within me cast me not away from your presence oh Lord take not your Holy Spirit from me I like this one restore to me the joy of my salvation and renew a right spirit hallelujah some of you may need to go back and declare even if it's one two days of spiritual emphasis in your church to say we need to get back and put some things right thank God for the building project but let's suspend it for three days and get some things right and pray and cry and say Lord I'm sorry I got into the pressure of ministry and now my passion is just to invite ministers not just to find out what you want I'm in a place right now where my passion is who is doing what me to let me do it Lord help me this is not a call to condemnation because I can tell you the revival that is sweeping across the nations and across every territory unfortunately will not have everyone as a battle axe that will be used those who will be used by God there are people today we do not know but there is a making and there is a formation and when God is done with them let me tell you they will rise they, you will say they came from nowhere but they've always been there being walked upon by the Spirit being dealt with by the Spirit too many people have disappointed God let's not add to the list did you hear what I said too many people have disappointed God let's obtain grace to not add to the list hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.